Hi everyone, Carol Brightville. Google Sites provides a simple and easy way to create a website. One of the most important features that it makes it easy to build your website is the insert menu. I wanted to create a video just to show you everything that is available in this insert menu. And I realized I had to make this a three-part video series because there is so much information. So I broke it out by the top part of the menu, the middle content blocks, and the bottom 17 items. So let's get started with part two, the content blocks. In case you were wondering what the insert feature is, it allows you to add various types of content to your web page, and you don't have to know how to code. It's anywhere from text, images, videos, links, files, files from your Google Drive, maps, forms, and calendars. Of course, to go to Google Sites, you can go to the URL bar and type sites.google.com, but I always like going to the waffle and going to the sites icon. Google Sites is available in a personal Gmail account and a professional Gmail account. It doesn't really have any difference from the paid version and the unpaid version. There's a template gallery that you can use one of their existing templates and customize it the way that you want it. I wanted to start with the blank site and I have one that I've already opened. When you look to the right, this is where you see the insert and halfway down are the content blocks. If you don't see the content blocks, they might be closed. See the arrow here? When you click that, it opens and closes the content blocks. But before I go into the content blocks, I want you to look in the middle of the page. I have a piece of artwork that I placed here and I want to show you as I move it around. I want you to see how the columns appear. This is a web grid system and it's used for creating page layouts, giving it a series of columns that are separated by gutters. These columns and gutters create a framework that help you to organize the elements on your page. The content blocks follow this web grid system. There are six existing content blocks. And when you select a content block, it has placeholder for an image or something that you want to put from your Google Drive or upload from your computer. It has placeholder header text and placeholder normal text. When you select the placeholder image, you can see you can upload from your computer, select an image which will go to your Google Drive, links, Google Images, photos, goes down the left to My Drive, to Recent, My Drive, Shared With Me, and Share Drives. It also goes to From Drive, so you can get something from your drive, which would be anything from a PDF to one of the Google Docs, a picture. The next one down is YouTube. It's very easy to insert a video from YouTube. When you search for your video and you select it, it selects and inserts it very nicely on your page. The next one down is calendar. Any Google Calendar that you have, it will go and get that calendar and you can insert it. Once you insert it, you select the gear because there's more options that you can pick to choose how this calendar looks on your page. And I like changing it from agenda to month. Say done. And now it looks like a calendar. The last one is map. When you select a map and you put your address, it will go to your address and it will drop a place mark. And when you select it, it will insert a map to your business location. So each one of these six content blocks are very nicely formatted to either two column, we have three column, four column, and they all have the placeholders for images. Underneath the placeholders, you have a text box for header text, and under that would be a text box for the normal text. And these content blocks follow that grid system that gives your page a nice standard clean layout. And if you look to the left, there are six little dots that if you grab them, you can drag and rearrange the page. And also to the left, you have a palette so that you can change the color that's behind the content block. You also have that you can duplicate that content block or you can trash it. These content blocks enable you to create a very professional looking website without having to know how to code. And it's a great feature in the Google site. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have enjoyed my video, please consider subscribing to my channel and have a great day, everyone.